Cole, tell me, how did you get to this production? It's been a roll. It's been up and down with getting it all together, but it's really starting to run smoothly. We got a great cast. Yeah, we started off about eight months ago with pre-production, and now we excited and enamored by the project. First couple of days were a little bit unorganized, but we've got it all together now. A good positive energy. We've been in uh, pre-production for about eight months. Ace Cruz has done a great job. We're able to align ourselves with an all-star cast. I'm very excited about that. That many great actors and famous actors at that for a low-budget movie. Now, we're doing a low-budget movie, but no one will know it's low-budget because the way we're filming it, we got all the best sound guys, we've got the best grip crew, filming crew, best equipment. It's been a lot of work, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn out to be a great project. I'm excited. I'm excited about the new guy that we're bringing, introducing the uh, character Billy, who I'm going to grab him. Let me get him. He's right here. Um, hey, y'all doing there? Y'all come see our movie now. He's going to be good. Come see me in my cameo role. Y'all have a good day here. Uh, he did a movie called Fate, and a few years back, and the, the actual uh, producer of that borrowed money from me. I'm a hard money lender. I'm also have a mortgage business. So I loaned some money on the movie. I did a little part in the movie. It was fun. Turned out okay. And uh, Ace and I have been meeting a lot up here in the North Georgia Mountains, talking about doing this particular movie, Outrage. So we spent probably six, seven months talking about it. We hired Chris Soth, who's an excellent writer out of Hollywood, to write our script. We tweaked it about 12 or 15 times, and we finally got our final draft. And our final uh, call sheet was completed. And of course, we'll change it another 10 times on the shore between now and the next two weeks. I met Ace. He's a great guy, great spirit, and uh, he knows how to stick to the budget. He's got great energy, great personality, and he's a positive, not a complainer. He can work. 20 hours a day not complain about it, sleeping only two or three. How did you feel about me being master person? Uh, he was a really nice guy to deal with. Like all the kind of celebs, you know, they're a little bit prima donnas, but he came down to earth after he met me. We actually had a good time. We had a couple drinks, talked about some other other possibilities in the future, and I, of course I, I let him know that I want to get this project completed first, and then him and I would hook up and we would uh, talk about some other ventures. What's the greatest challenge of this project for you personally? There's too many chiefs in production when you're doing a movie and not enough Indians and we're, we pretty much got that under control. We had to dismiss some people, we had to bring new people in and that, those kind of things is part of every day in any, any company, any environment that you're, you're involved with, whether it's what I do, real estate development or this type of business. It's a challenge. It's kind of like it all comes together and, it's, and it has and we're, we're excited about it. Where do you take the greatest lessons from this? Not only from this particular project, but still making it well, being creative, I, I bring out brings out the creative side of me. I like to get involved in little acting, little parts here and there, and I like to see the, the finished product and like to see at the end of the day with the, with the editor and, and look at all the scenes and see how they came out and, and have a look at, at all how it all comes together. And I guess the, the greatest joy would be to see the finished product and bring it to market. Any plans for the future? If this goes well. Yeah, we'll we'll do some more. I, I've got uh, great ideas to do some comedies. I've got some great, uh, actually some partial scripts I've written on some everyday, real everyday situations. Almost more like a realistic, uh, how do you say, reality type movie. Just really just everyday pulling pranks on people and getting have hidden cameras and, and those kind of things.